Hey everybody, in this video we are going to be talking about how to create different skin tones. So when I'm teaching, one of the most common questions I get from my students is how do I mix a skin color? And the answer is always, it's complicated because it depends on the skin color that you're trying to create. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to break this up into a few different videos. And this video is going to be talking just about kind of the color theory behind the skin colors. And then we'll talk about working with how to mix skin colors with certain media like colored pencil, watercolor, and acrylic. So stay tuned for those videos as we go. But what I'd like to start with is this really awesome project by Angelica Das, and it's called Humane. And what she does is photograph people all around the world and then take like an 11 by 11 pixel sample of their skin color and match it to a Pantone color. And by doing so, she's able to really break down this sort of social construct of race, which is very subjective, in which we categorize a huge variety of people into such simple categories of black, white, red, yellow. And she makes this a lot more objective by focusing on the wide variety and diversity of hue throughout each person. But then also, what I think is so fascinating is she's matched up like the same Pantone color with people from very different races. So we might categorize them really differently, but when we look at it objectively, they're all the same. So she's really playing with kind of this breakdown of objective and subjective things with color. I highly encourage you to check out her website to look at this or watch a couple of her TED Talks. Very interesting stuff. So let's get down to the heart of things. When we're creating skin tone, we're not just one color. So much of this is dependent on lighting. Lighting is going to change the way we perceive our skin tones, and it's also going to change the warmth or the coolness of it. But we also have a lot of undertones in our skin. So we could have, you know, a warm undertone, a cool undertone, or a neutral undertone to our skin. And it doesn't matter whether your skin is light or dark to have these undertones. Everybody has a different one and it's going to, you know, make a big difference when we're mixing these colors. So those of you that are makeup artists in here, this might make a little more sense to you right off the bat because you're already familiar with it. But if you're new to it, we're going to learn how to pick out those undertones and it's going to really help you as you mix your colors. So I have a variety of different model references just to show you kind of the complexity of the color and the depth of the color within each face. And what I've done with each of these models is I've used the eyedropper tool or the color picker tool in Photoshop just to isolate different areas of the face to really show you that the color changes depending on the lighting and the area of the face that we are selecting. So being able to sort of isolate certain areas is going to help us figure out the color a little more easily because we're not as overwhelmed with the entirety of the face. We can just focus on one little section at a time. So to start, I have a model with very dark skin and she has a very cool undertone to it. So when we look at the undertones, it's going to be a little more on the blue or the violet side of things. And so when we're mixing our colors, we're going to want to use cooler colors to create our mixtures. We have a person with dark skin as well who has more of a warm undertone to his skin. So these are going to have more reds and oranges in the mixtures to create a warmer base to work with. This person has kind of a medium skin tone and it's more of a neutral. So we would call that like an olive skin tone. Um, this is going to have more of a yellowish greenish undertone to it, hence the olive part of it. And so, yeah, it's not quite warm. It's not quite cool. It's really kind of in the middle. Here we have a model with a warm, light skin tone. So warmer undertones, we're seeing these more pinkish and yellowish tones within it. And then lastly, we have a model with 
very pale skin and cool undertones. So very much on the bluish side of things. And when we look at these different undertones together, we can start to discover like what types of colors are we going to use to mix these. So if you think about perhaps the double primary system of like warm and cool primary colors, um, using those as a basis to create the neutrals or the browns or peaches, that's really going to help you create this combination of colors as we are building up skin tones. So I highly encourage you to check out my split primary video to help you understand the difference between a warm red and a cool red or a warm blue or a cool blue. Those are really going to help you out when you are creating these mixtures. So hopefully seeing all of these references together and breaking down what makes a skin tone warm or cool within the spectrum of light and dark skin tones will help you as you begin to understand the mixtures that we create when we are making our own skin tones. So stay tuned for the next videos on how to mix the colors using different media. Thanks for watching and keep creating!